Well, oddly, welcome back to 539. We are currently parked in the middle of the road. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to get off the road without getting myself stuck. Oh! But I have discovered, well, not discovered, it actually is a historical location. But it's another graveyard that was just sort of hidden in the woods. Well, the, uh, kind of this wooded area off to the side of the road. So we're gonna check it out here and see what this place is all about. Um, literally, it was driving to another location once again, and I literally, uh, right down there, just hit the brakes because I was like, this is a graveyard for sure. This is some sort of cemetery. Um, I don't even see any stones yet, uh, but you can see right up here is a historical sign. Oh, and there is stuff up here. Wow. All the way at the top of the hill. So, kind of had a hard time finding this other place that I thought existed. Uh, a lot of you probably know about that now if it was indeed released before this. But, wow. Not expecting this at all, but it oddly matches the description of the place I was trying to find, but it's nowhere, well, it's kind of near, but it's uh, several miles too far away from what I can tell. Um, but literally, from what I remember in the email, it said that there were graves that were uh, sort of falling backwards, sort of down this hill at the, at the back end of it. Um, which sort of matches this description. Not 100%, but wow, this place is pretty wrecked, especially for being an official historical place. And I kind of thought that one of the reasons that you got historical status was to prevent uh, situations like this or to try and restore. Uh, I thought it gave you access to more tax dollars, but just judging upon some of the places that we've found recently that doesn't really seem to be the case. Wow, another incredible one though. I'm glad that I stumbled upon it. It just took a random road, literally. And had I not hit the brakes, I probably wouldn't have seen the sign in time, but there was just that feeling again that uh, something was here and wow. Can't really read any of the names. I'm gonna have to look up some information on this place when I get back to the command center and maybe see if we can figure out what, uh, or excuse me, uh, who's buried here, what kind of place it is, if it's more of a family graveyard or what. Um, there's some smaller pieces right there. I don't see anything else hiding behind though. Uh, another place that I'm being real careful. Uh, you can see the stuff's just hiding in the grass. Uh, oddly, again, for being a historic location on the official registry, um, it seems like not even a single person is getting out here to, to mow very often, maybe just a couple times a year. But uh, this may gave, give us here some of, or some more information that we need to look up uh, the history of this place. Wow. I don't even know where to look. There's no real rose. There's something here. That looks decorative though. What in the world? almost nothing
several pieces are here. There's a intact stone right here. And then whatever uh, this may be. Doesn't have any writing on it. And this is so heavily decayed that I think it's gonna be impossible to identify it without any historical data. Oh, there's actually somebody here stopping. This is interesting. Maybe we can talk to somebody for once if they're actually anything to... No, they're keeping going. Oh, they were stopping for that guy that was going. I thought they were... They had a piece of machinery that looked like it might be used... Uh, I think it was just a ditch witch, but I thought maybe it was like a landscaping crew. I was actually excited for a brief moment there, but it appears that, again, they were just waiting on the little off-road vehicle to go by. And wow, this has taken down almost this entire section of fence, almost to the edge here. So, just literally a few headstones propped up against trees, and then a few more things just hidden in the grass and that one sole marker right over this way that is popping up and still still seems to be in its original placement huh wow i was planning on continuing to film maybe with the other camera but i think i might just head back and start editing i kind of told myself that i wouldn't do that this time uh, but this will make the third pretty amazing location that I found today and yeah pot potentially the fourth episode um, so yeah I don't know might just have to head back as this is just one of those lo locations that's too crazy to not go back and immediately start work on it all right, let's head over to the sign here and see what kind of historical data we can glean here. So the historical sign was installed about eight years ago. So I don't know what all has been done since then, but it doesn't appear that very much at all has been done to uh, restore the place in any way. Again, despite the fact that it has gained that historical status. And I, I see that a lot around here. There are battlefields, uh, old graveyards just like this one here, and even some old farms that are still functioning to this day get that historical status. So it kind of makes me wonder, again, what all that entails and why one can apply for a historical status for a location like this, but then it still remains in this condition here. So I guess uh, to any of you out there, if you happen to be a member of a historical society, uh, if you're someone that's helped uh, restore old cemeteries and graveyards just like this one here, um, let me know what you think. Uh, it seems to me again that there should be something that takes place when a place like this gets historical status again. And yeah, so a really confusing place. Really excited I found it. Um, again, it's, it's one of those bittersweet types of discoveries. It's really interesting to find places like this and uh, be able to be one of the first people to document uh, the condition that they're in. But at the same time, um, it'd be nice if this type of stuff didn't actually happen. So let me know what you think. Chime in below if you have any ideas. Uh, looks like there's more historical, or not historical, but decorative stones over here. Stuff that probably would have just been used for landscaping. And this appears to be actually an old railroad tie there. Uh, although I don't think that it's near an abandoned railroad of any sort. Um, there may be 
I don't know. There, this could be a location for an old uh, church that used to exist and got torn down a long time ago. I don't see any indication of that though. Not a small place and yet so strange that we can walk through like this and really find next to nothing. Uh, I think it'd be a great candidate for uh, ground penetrating radar potentially um, or ultrasound, something like that. But the more I look, uh, I'm just, I'm not finding anything else. So um, yeah, I guess we'll leave it off there. Thank you so much for watching this episode on 539 Productions. As always, if you enjoy the content you see here, it does help out to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I appreciate hearing from all of you and appreciate all of your support. Uh, again, uh, check out the second channel and uh, as always, I'll see you guys in our next big adventure.